What's up everybody, here are some tips that can hopefully help you with this chocobo gliding awful, awful mini game. Uh, turn off motion control. Um, I'm going to break this down into four areas and uh, you should learn each one individually, it's probably the easiest way. If you miss a marker, you can go back in a lot of cases. Um, and otherwise, if you fail, just try again. Now for starters, when this first starts, there's a timing thing to get. So right here, as those two targets are coming back and crossing over each other, right when they cross middle paths with each other, that's when you hold down R2 and get ready to launch. It's going to line up perfectly when you come back through. Pick up the first two. You can practice that one a couple of times. It's really easy to restart from there. Now we're going to go straight to the right. Snag this 300 and get ready to go way back to the left and grab this other 300. Of course, we're going to move right over to the right and grab that 100 after and hit these fans. This is all for section one. Now, section two, this one has a few dives in it. Uh, it might take some timing to get down. Let's start them up. So first things first, just keep holding it. It's going to look like it's going way above this. It's not. Grab this first guy here, and then here's the exact dive spot you're going to want to hit. See where his feet are right above that marker? That's a perfect spot to dive. So here we go. Dive. Grab it. Grab it. Grab the 500. Wait till we get to the other 500. Then here's where we're yanking back. Now you're going to keep holding it here. Just pull it. Keep holding it. It's going to look like you're way above it. Just keep doing it. It'll, it'll level out. There you go. Now you can let go of that. We're going to dive again. Grab this. Pick up this 500. Now when we pull this one up, we're going to aim for this right fan so we can start going over to section 3 with these four targets. So this is a short section. We're just going to try and nail these four targets. Um, first one we can glide right into. And again, if you miss any of these, it's really easy to go back and grab them to test it out. A little slight dip for the second one. We're going to actually do a full dive into this third and then immediately pull up into that fourth one. Let go of the pull up though because you want to make sure you hit this fan. You could go too high and not hit it. Now we're going into section four, the hardest one. To start it off, we're going to grab this blue 100 right here and immediately take a left and grab this 300. Then we're going to go all the way over to the right and grab this 500. Might need to dip a little bit. Sometimes you don't have to. Snag it. I'm going to grab this other 500 here and then we're going to turn all the way around and go back to the fan. And that seems like you shouldn't do that. You can possibly beat it without it, but my friend Austin taught me this. This is by far the easiest way to get this to work. I went through this thing probably 30 times before I got that tip from him, and now it's, it, obviously I get it. Um, so now we're just going to need to aim to hit all three of these in a row. So a nice big dive, and then we're going to pull up perfectly timed into the fourth one. So right here, this is the spot. See, there's like looks like it's like a one inch on the screen between the feet and the marker. We're going to dive right there. Bam, hit it. Bam, barely hit it. Pull up. Uh, okay, now we're pulling up. Pull up right into this guy. Looks like we're going above it again. Nailed it. Now we're just going to coast on into our last two. Of course, you just have to dive into these, and you should pick them up. Give this a couple tries. Again, break it down into each section. Master each section, and you should have it. Good luck, everybody.